with another episode, another edition of Coffee and Beats. I am your musical barista, Rod the Magnificent. I'm back with another episode, and this one, I love doing these. I love doing these because I I ruffle a lot of feathers when I drop one of these. This is the third installment of Top 25. Yes, I've pretty much third year of doing this podcast yes congratulations thank you thank you appreciate that yes thank you year number three and of course at the end of every year i round off all the albums that i listened to over this year handpicking my top 25 albums that i have enjoyed this year i'm gonna make this loud and clear this is my list and my list only if i have albums in here that aren't included in this top 25 hey don't be so angry look down there in that description box and there's a bunch of honorable mention albums that didn't quite make the cut i just wanted to throw that out there in case you're wondering why some of your favorite albums from this year hasn't showed up on this particular list it might be down in the description box so take a look at that and again feel free to comment if there's some albums that I missed out on, please let me know. I can always go backtrack, but it's too late. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. Maybe next year. I don't know. Coffee and Beats Top 25. I love doing these. So how it, how does it work? Well, I'm going to just ramble off the first 15. And then once we get to the top 10, I'm going to kind of break down why I got all of these albums in the top 10. But by the way, I got my cup of coffee, so I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. And to start off with our top 25, I have for you Kalela Raven. I really enjoyed this project, had a lot of different deep house jazz house mixed in with this particular project you know Kalela is a very talented singer she steals the show on a lot of her features and in this particular album she gives you smooth transient vocals and just it, it was just an eloquent album to listen to all the way through I mean, even though this album came out earlier in the season this one still stayed in the rotation so please give Kalela's new album a shot Raven it's a really good listen i think you will enjoy it at number 24 we got naomi sharon with obsidian and this album kind of fell on my lap a little bit i got this in the recommends on spotify and i i was like okay i was intrigued by the album cover so i listened to it and boy was i blown away first of all the production is crisp her vocals are great i know there are a lot of snow allegra comparisons she sounds even a little bit more uh, softer uh, than snow allegra as far as her voice go i still think she got a long way to go before she reached snow allegra territory but there's a lot of comparisons to sade a new version of sade which you know i can kind of see the comparisons there is a little redundance with some of the sounds on this album some of the songs can sound a little bit similar but i really enjoyed this one all the way through this was a nice surprise for me at number 23 we got the girl's son and the name of this album is called Spirits. This is a jazz record from a New Zealand based jazz band. This one again fell on my lap. If you're into jazz, if you're into a really mellow, excellent listen all the way through. A lot of the instrumentals on here are, are, are blazing sonically. It sounds amazing. So up next we got Oh No with good vibes slash bad vibe the first part of this album came out earlier this year good vibes and then part two of this album came out bad vibes later on in may this particular instrumental album is pretty good by oh no he pays a lot of homage to roy ayers and and again roy ayers is one of those go-to jazz slash soul artists from back in the 70s that a lot of hip-hop artists gravitate towards because of the elements of hip-hop that are introduced in Roy Ayer's music from back in the day and in how it has been sampled so much uh, throughout the years. Here we celebrating 50 years of hip-hop, so Roy Ayers is a huge contributor to that. But here we have Ono giving him his flowers, remixing a lot of some of his old projects and making very good, smooth, vibrant instrumentals. Just check it out. Oh no, who's one of my favorite producers of all time. Please give this one a shot. Up next, we got The Breathing Effect. 
and the name of this album is called Eli and Harry and this group has been together for quite some time about 10 years I just found out about them this year if you're into groups like Tame Impala you'll really enjoy uh, this particular project I'm gonna have to backtrack and listen to some of their older music but this project is pretty good it was a huge surprise for me there's no skips on this one I think you will enjoy it's very smooth uh, the, the lyrics the vocals are very good on this project so give this one a shot appreciate this nice gem and I think you will appreciate this one as well up next we got Jamila Woods at number 20 on our countdown and Jamila Woods again uh, she never ceased to amazes me she never ceased to disappoint she's keeping Neo Soul alive and with this particular project which I have reviewed earlier this season kind of give me mama's gun vibes by Erica Badu I just enjoy this project all the way through I think you will too check out Cool Hand's review of this album as well i thought he did a very good job of breaking down some of the songs on here so give this one a shot i think you will really enjoy this one as well at number 19 we got sampha with la ha yeah sampha 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 don't make us wait too long for that next project because this one right here is absolutely outstanding if you love this type of mellow type of neo soul slash r&b music and if you like artists such as james blake you will really appreciate this project it's high up on a lot of people's list this year not quite on my list because yeah i have backtracked and listened to this album but it didn't quite stay in the rotation but i appreciate the artistry of this particular project and i, I appreciate the amount of time that Sanford takes with with his project even though this is his second album you can tell he really puts a lot of forethought into all of his projects and I think you will really enjoy this one give this one a chance I think Sanfa is definitely one of the most underrated artists out right now up next we got Olivia Dean speaking of underrated at number 18 this artist right here has become one of my favorite artists of the year Olivia Dean has a smooth voice she kind of reminds me of Emilia LaRue a more modern day version of her and if you really like some of that pop that boom bap type of poppy type of soul music feel good vibes i think this is the album for you i love it i enjoy it i have backtracked and gone to this album several times and uh check out some of her videos as well they're very awesome at number 17 we got madison mcfarren with this dope dope project this one is called i hope you can forgive me and again this is a very heartfelt project basically touching on some near-death experiences that's happened in her life and now uh, she's able to sing to us about it and talk about how it changed her life and it transformed her as a person madison if you're listening uh, we appreciate your survival we appreciate your story and again we appreciate your music here on coffee and beats so just keep up the good work we enjoy all of your projects here and we love them so again madison mcfarren keep doing what you're doing at number 16 we got tribes with red bird this is a nice jazzy instrumental jam band album that i think all of you should check out is one of the best ones i've heard all year still flawless still a lot of songs from this on my playlist a lot of people every time i play this around people they'd be like man what is this and, and I, I just try to put them on put them on game and they really enjoy it so i appreciate how uh, you guys are continually to supply us with that dope music so keep up the good work Thank you for making it on to Coffee and Beast Top 25. Alan Palomo at number 15. At number 15, Alan Palomo, formerly known as Neon Indian. And this project just gave me so many different type of 80s vibes. Great sense on this one. Miami Vice. I felt like I was watching Knight Rider. Like this album has it all. If you are a big fan of 80s music, this is the type of album that gives you those nostalgic vibes. Like, I love the direction that he went with this. You know, he's far removed from the chill wave stuff. This stuff right here is even better. And shout out to Alan Palomo giving us such an amazing project. Up next, we got Jada G with Guy at number 14. And again, 
If you're into that good house music, I think this is one of the best house music releases of the year. I love her vocals on here. And uh, this was a great project. I think this is one of her best albums to date. Uh, she only has two in the collection so far, but this one is by far the best one if I had to pick. And I just keep it up, Jada G. Looking forward to a remix of this album as well. Up next, we got Jesse Ware with another fantastic project. She keeps batting a thousand, y'all. She keeps batting a thousand. That's all I gotta say, man. Go listen to the album. Jesse Ware does it again. At number 12, we got Kara Jackson with why does the earth give us people to love another poetic style album with very good instrumentals very great clever lyricism from kara jackson i am amazed by this project this is a very good listen again if you're not up on kara jackson what are you waiting for jump on the bandwagon right now thank you kara for giving us such an amazing personal project and uh, the sense of humor in this project is amazing as well so please give this one a chance if you are a fan of that soul if you're a fan of poetry give this one a shot and at number 11 which just missed my top 10 Masuego with his self-titled album again me shout out to j6 man for sitting with me for the review of this album and this album is still in the rotation man and that's why it's at number 11 I uh, again production the, the maturity level and the lyricism from Masuego you see the growth you see the progress and we, we just want them to keep going we want you to keep going Masuego is one of those artists you always want to see win and now we're going to get to the top 10 section of this episode and to start off at number 10 we got baby rose through and through and again i'm gonna repeat myself over and over again until my face turn blue please get over the voice if we gave nina simone a chance and we got over her voice and we look at her as a legend this is the perfect example of someone who has a similar voice who has a similar delivery and is giving out top quality music for you guys the heart-wrenching vocals that come out of her uh, some of the songs you can even hear her voice crackling and, and the emotions on some of the things that, that that she's singing about i just enjoy every ounce of this record through and through give it a shot give it a shot once you make the adjustment to her voice which i think is a is beautiful you'll be fine and once you dive deep into the lyrics and the production you're gonna really enjoy this album i enjoyed it enough to put it in my top 10 at number 10 and so baby rose keep up the good work big shout out to a listener of the show Corey beats uh, i have his his tag right there so you can follow him he makes beats and is pretty fire with it he shouted this album out in one of the chats of one of my previous episodes and recommended this album and boy oh boy oh boy this one did not fall short of sensational cartoons outdid itself uh his previous record didn't quite hold me like that so i kind of went into this one a, a little bit skeptical because again cartoons you know he kind of went viral with a couple of instrumentals that he dropped on tiktok and instagram he's huge on social media and i felt like some of that hype didn't really transcend into his previous album but in this particular project right here it is amazing all of the uh, features came in really really nicely uh, for him and I, I just really enjoyed this one this is a very good soulful album again thank you Corey beast for recommending this one i enjoyed it so much it ended up at number eight on my top 25 let's go cartoon up next we got terrace martin and gallant with sneak and this is another sensational project from terrace martin i think terrace martin just to, as a side note is having has had one of the biggest years that i can remember for a producer he has dropped five projects this year and all of them are dope one of the ones that stood out to me the most is this particular project right here great vocals on this one uh, by gallant and the production again terrace martin doesn't sell you short it's a short listen but every track on here is fire so it wasn't no room for mistakes on this one and there were no mistakes <laughs> none none okay no mistakes 
on this project. Every song on here is fire. And again, Terrace Martin, keep up the good work. Gallant, keep up the good work as well. I really enjoyed this one. Up next, I didn't get a chance to review this album. I wanted to review this album on page so bad because this album stayed in my rotation all year. I am so glad that Victoria Monet, the Jaguar 2 album, is getting its flowers. It is getting nominated for a Grammy. Uh, she's got several nominations for a Grammy for this particular project. I've been a big fan of Victoria since the first Jaguar. This album gives me Sierra vibes. It gives me 106 in Park vibes. Like all of those early 2000 dance video nostalgic type of uh, videos. She just brought all of that back. The whole Destiny's Child swag that she brings to the table. It, it's just it's just an amazing to watch. Uh, it's amazing to watch a R&B artist who has continued to grow with each album and one of those artists that pay homage to all of those before her and uh, she's really carrying the torch uh, for a lot of the, the, the pop R&B uh, world and this is one of the best pop R&B albums that I've heard in a long long time congratulations you have made number seven on top 25 for coffee and beats and can't wait to hear more possibly a Jaguar 3 we'll see up next at number six we got dinner party with society the beats the production the singing everything about this album is dope dinner party is two for two with their releases keep it coming another terrace martin related project too so again please if you haven't listened to this one give yourself a do yourself a favor check out dinner party and now we're here at the top five we got cleo soul with heaven and also gold man oh man i mean what can i say what 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 more can i say about cleo soul at this point again another artist that continues to bat a thousand she gets better with each project i think all of those collaborations with salt has also improved her as a songwriter a lot of the writing on this thing displays so much emotion so much energy so much passion so much pain uh, such a soothing uh, healing project and again i combine both albums because both albums are short she dropped these albums back to back and it might as well be a double cd right uh, i had to put both of these albums up in the same spot because again both both projects are just about equal they both had the same effect on me and so again i appreciate everything that cleo soul does keep it coming and again we look forward to hearing more projects and also hopefully some more salt projects as well at number four thanks to ybsn for this recommendation it's not this high on my list because of that it's high on my list because this is one of the dopest instrumental projects of the year snacks mind design mind design coming in at number four and this is definitely a treat little play on words there. gives me jay dilla donuts vibes a lot of the beats on here are short it's a lot of loops a lot of good samples on here so if you a b-head like myself this one is definitely for you check it out and you won't regret it up next at number three we got jungle with volcano and man this this album just could not leave my playlist i'm sorry it just every day i gotta listen to at least one song from this project is how much i love this album and it's definitely one of jungle's best uh, projects to date jc and uh leatrice coming in to review this album together and this one stood strong it stood strong i thought it was gonna tail off down a little bit but again this album kept staying in the rotation if you get a chance go on youtube check out jungle's whole entire rendition of this album it plays out like a whole entire movie is 50 minutes long so check it out they combine choreography from each and every song and made it into a huge movie and so check it out i think you'll really enjoy it jungle man appreciate it appreciate this one sweet salute here on coffee and beat at number two we got asia monet with when the poems do what they do and again if you have not checked out her tiny desk please feel free to do so i'll have the link down in the description below so you can get a nice feel for her as a poet as an artist and as a person i think this album is very personal addressing the importance of love 
in a world that is so corrupt. The lyrics on here, the wordplay, it has everything that you want off a poet-based album. I think it, it has all the elements that you look for. The production on here is smooth, the bongos and all that other stuff, man. You can hear all of that. Very, very jazzy production on this one. So Asia Monet is definitely one of those artists that is on the come up. This is her debut album. So give her that support and congratulations to her on her Grammy nomination as well. And here it is, the moment that you all been waiting for. At number one, Say She She Silver. Yo, I discovered this group. I discovered this group two years ago when I first started this Coffee and Beats channel and they only had one song on Spotify and it was Forgive Me Not. And when I watched that video and I listened to that song, I said to myself, I never had an instant reaction where I said, this group can be huge. And from that point on and uh, being able to shop them out in my first season of Coffee and Beats and being able to review their prison album, which was really good, and then dropping silver Silver out of nowhere, which has a lot of disco infused tracks on here. It has a lot of important message in the lyrics and a lot of these songs. It's jazzy in some areas, a lot of good instrumentals on here. The vocals are, are the harmonies. It has it all. Say She She gives me in Vogue vibes where, you know, each singer is in harmony with the next and it creates even something else within the song that you can just vibe to also got a chance to see them in concert and they put on a show and also big shout out uh to them and their success so again say she she again thank you for dropping such an amazing project and congratulations for coming out number one here on coffee and beats top 25 and that will do it for this edition of coffee and beats i am your musical barista rot the magnificent just a few reminders i do have a mixtape that is out it's called late night sips volume one it is only available on mixcloud unfortunately i wasn't able to put it on streaming platforms due to some copyright issues so go there and check it out i'll have the link down to that mixtape below so you can be able to listen to it until then i want to thank you guys for all your support i am your musical barista rod the magnificent when it comes to coffee when it comes to music stay grounded for life coffee and beats we are out Top 25, peace.